This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. There was a thread of uh, a refrain of violence and the threat of violence that runs through the Republican Party. They always talk about how uh, the Second Amendment protects all the other amendments. My guns. I grew up in northern Idaho where uh, that particular mantra was spoken and repeated ad nausea. And listen, I'm not opposed to owning owning uh, the personal ownership of, of guns. It is enshrined in our Constitution that we have the right to keep and bear arms. It's a constitutional right, flatly, plainly. But to fetishize it and to intermingle it with religion and, and, and vigilantism, which is what is happening more and more as the years go on. And it's being promoted and, and legitimized by media personalities. Like Dick Pick McGee, Eric Bowling, over at Newsmax, who in a conversation about what's going on in Canada right now is in some attempt to be cute, talking about holding people accountable by the threat of actual violence. Watch this. I'm just wondering, you know, we saw that that the organizer of the Canadian convoy, uh, T- Tamara Lich, was uh, arrested for um, yeah. counseling to commit mischief. I mean, if I've never heard of a, a more ridiculous charge in my life. And that poor 78-year-old man arrested for bonking his horn in downtown Ottawa, the capital of Canada. Are you kidding me? That's insane. It must be a million horn, horns honked a day. But so if they try that here, I, I, I think they might they might uh, get a little uh, comeuppance, I'm guessing. I think they're going to get a lot more than they bargained for. And I think there's a lot of folks in blue uh, who are wonderful law enforcement officials in this country who don't like what's going on because they're getting shoved around, too. You know something? This is more than just mandates. The mandates was the match that lit this fire that's going to sweep across the world, that's going to tell people, we've had enough of the elitists telling us what to do. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Our kids are going to have no masks in school. You're not going to teach CRT. You're not going to do all this other stuff. We've about had it with you. And remember something else, Eric. There's an old cowboy saying that says, when you give a lesson in meanness to a critter or a person, don't be surprised if they learn the lesson. Well, the people of this country in Canada and all the other places in the Western world, we finally learned our lesson and we're standing up and we're coming out and we're coming for them. Common sense cowboy there. You know, it's, it's amazing, uh, Patrick. Final thought here. I, I can't imagine when, you know, when they turn the rule of law, when government turns the rule of law into martial law, they can maybe do it up there in that, that Canadian socialist land north of us. I don't think it's going to happen down here in the United States. Final thought, Patrick. Well, it better not, because I think our side's a hell of a lot more armed than their side, but that's just my thought. All right. All right. We'll leave it there. I'm not sure what that is. We'll take it for what it is. We will take it for what it is, Eric Bowling. You know what it is. They might get a little comeuppance, he says. Death at the hands of a vigilante, of a gun-toting madman. Comeuppance is what he calls it. And then Mustache here, talking about uh, the, the, the the, the men and women in blue, the people in blue are wonderful law enforcement. I would love to have a conversation. No, I would not love to have a conversation. You wasted oxygen. But can you imagine what this gentleman believes about what took place during the insurrection on January 6th of last year? Is... Does he believe that the Blue Lives Mattered then when over 150 police officers were wounded, some gravely, some losing fingers and toes? See in support of that. This is white entitlement on full display. That is what this is. Our kids aren't going to wear masks. This is oppression. Can you imagine a more fragile character than both of these assholes on Newsmax. 
who are whining and crying. And they talk about snowflakes because of a, a, a general health mandate that was utilized during the very first pandemic here in America, not the first, but in, in 1918. They also wore masks. White fragility on full display. Gross. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. You can email me daily at dollamore.com. Thanks for your participation in the conversation. I appreciate it very much. You can also participate in the conversation on social media. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. I am at Dollamore. That would be great. And if I bring you some value, please consider supporting what I do here. You can do it right here on YouTube by clicking the join button below this video for as little as two bucks a month. You can become a channel member or you can go over to my Patreon page for my podcast, which also supports the work here, which is patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways if you want to be involved and help produce what I do. I love you guys. I appreciate your time and attention your engagement with my content, your subscribing to the channel, all of that. You guys are fantastic. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.